Yeah. You know, tell me what's going on right now right. with uh, with your company, a little bit about yourself. Oh, sure. Okay. My, my name is George Litvinov, so I represent uh, Zealous Nation MMA, which is a club located in New Jersey, Middlesex. Uh, the owner of the club is Oleg Savitsky. He's a silver medalist, a few times medalist actually of the Sam Combat Sambo. Uh, he's a very great guy, has personal, like excellent personality. He's an M1 rep in the United States. Uh, we do have like a couple of trainers who works on uh, different type of teams. <coughs> we work with different teams, competing like with different teams, trying to basically what we're trying to do is build up a good team from guys like really good guys from Europe. And uh, in order for us to do that, so basically we're trying to bring you know some good guys and improve their techniques over here so they can compete on American level. One of the guys we just brought in recently. Uh, is Ruslan Hasanov, uh, which is a uh, world combo champion, he's Jiu Jitsu champion, and today he's going to try to compete in Naga, which is a grapplers uh, competition. He never done it before, but we hope because you know, he went right on the top trying to compete with the best of the expert division. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, another guy, you know, friend of ours, and, uh, you know, he's a team member, uh, Andrei Kapilov. Uh, he was competing today also, it was his first tournament actually. He never competed in grapplers, in nine, none of, he has no grapplers that we experience at all, so he got second place, which was pretty amazing, he did really well. Uh, another fighter of ours is uh, Eric Oganov, he was here for probably the last couple of years doing a lot of training, he improved his boxing technique, and he did like a lot of you know ground, ground game, and so he did really well in his last fight in November, he won, um, actually very good guy, very good Brazilian guy, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So it was pretty happy it would happen. So we're just working hard to get those guys in and make sure they're going to compete well here. And they're going to train well with the best you know, fighters possible, the best clubs possible. So we do have different teams here we're trying to work. One of them is uh, also in Jersey. It's a gold team. And they have very good, uh, different kind of guys, actually, very good competitors. So just trying to build everything little by little. Now, uh, what's, the, what's the name of your, the, the company that you're starting? Zealous Nation MMA. Zealous Nation MMA? Okay. That's great. Um, any up and coming events that are going up the significant to the fighters at all? Uh, it's just basically we're trying to make sure they fight at least three, four times a year. Okay. Yes, at least plus we're trying to get them to all competition. It's not that grapplers quest anywhere possible. Wherever it is, like right now, uh, Combat Sambo is going to be May, thing, May 5th, I think. In Brooklyn, New York, uh, I'm gonna make sure both uh, like the guys who is here right now, which is Andre and Ruslan, they're gonna compete there. It's a uh, Pan American, so it's like few countries involved. In Israel, uh, well, it's just basically, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's at least four or five countries involved in that tournament. Okay, that's great. And those fights, the, the Combat Samba is the one of the like, let's say it's the closest, you know, closest fighting style to mixed martial arts. Now, as far as the, the fighters that you have in, in, uh, coming out of Russia right now, I mean, how is the, the competition over there in, in comparison to, to uh, I mean, the, the competition is pretty tough. The thing is, it just basically, they, like, they have like, great potential, like, really good guys. The problem is, uh, I mean, they, this is my personal opinion again, I think the level of American fighters is a little different because first of all, it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They don't have that much that in Russia and uh, some of the guys who's really good in wrestling, really good in boxing, they don't have that ground game set yet. So uh, some of them have really good and they proved themselves. So it is basically this is what exactly we're trying to accomplish is get these guys here to make sure they're training right, they're eating right. Most of the guys in Russia they don't know the most biggest problem with Russian fighters is they don't know how to cut the weight. So the guy is 170, he's fighting at 170. Not like it's basically the problem with Americans, a friend of mine, he was 200, and he's fighting 205, not 205, 215. He's cutting 30 pounds within a month, right. which is for Russian, some of the Russian outlets, like European outlets, five pounds is a lot. You know, they don't even try not to cut that. So they take a lot of them getting, you know, this problem. So they fight a lot bigger guys, and basically it's a little complicated. That's interesting. Now, there's a lot of people aren't familiar really with a lot of uh, Russian organizations. And, you know, they're maybe familiar with M1, but uh, what what other organizations are there that are come up and coming, or the ones that are actually popular there but not here? I mean, there's a personal friend of ours actually. Uh, one of the like I would say it has a lot of potential. Also, it's uh, Legion. Uh, that one is uh, basically one of the fastest growing, I would say. So they just basically they 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 had like few ones so far. 
but they're really popular and have a lot of great guys. Uh, the, the, plus the club, the, actually, uh, Ruslan is from that club, the Coast Legion. They have uh, one, two, two guys fighting in the, in the next three months, two guys fighting for the belt and M1. So, plus they do, they were, you know, fighting show. The other one is Pro FC, which is a pretty big show as well. So, it's actually, it is competition, but it's a little different from the United States, I would say. Do you find it uh, harder to get uh, fighters into into organizations here in the U.S. versus getting your guys into competitions in, uh, uh, in, in Russia? Uh, it's really difficult to say. I would not say it's like hard. The thing is, like a lot of American promoters, the way they're looking at it, they just basically they don't take it. They they don't take seriously those records. So they try and like let's say in order for most of the guys if they have a couple of losses at least they, they want to see them at American shows like a smaller smaller you know smaller ones to make sure they you know they can compete at that level <laughs> Yes, 
Hey guys, when we tell you you gotta be back behind the mats on either the warm-up mats or stand some ropes, that doesn't mean it applies to everybody else but you when your fighter's up there. You guys gotta always follow the rules. You guys gotta always be either on the mats or in the bleachers. Alright, we need all intermediate no gi competitors and mats. All intermediate adults whoa, 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 and intermediate masters, please bring your cards to the bracketing table. Get your legs off. Get the 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 legs off. Come on, Mike. You got plenty of time, bro. You got a minute. The Masters no game now is winners of Ringside in third place. Matt Densler in second place. Jason Hand in first place from Tiger Show. Push it down, Mike. Push it down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get that leg out. That's it. Twenty-four seconds. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Take that.
So, take it easy on him. It's a tie score. He went to overtime and nobody scored. Because again, they don't want to make a call. But they have to. And they got to, unfortunately, what they don't want to do. For the men's snow game, next winners in three, four, and third place for Brendan Murphy. In second place, Joseph Roy. And first place from the black hole, Ryan Pigori. Master Donnie from Team Lloyd Urban. Can you please come to the bracketing area? Master Donnie to the bracketing area, please.
it has been canceled. The event for Sunday, June 10th for Unleash the Warrior, the Now Naga Associated event has been canceled. Headline, right? Yes, I'm in there. Headline, right? This is Ruslan. Ruslan, that's what I meant. Sorry, sorry. All right, this is the final call for all purple, brown, and black belts. And if any of you are fighting purple, brown, and black, please bring your cards to the bracket table. For the Masters, the blue belt winners are in second, second place. It's going to be a fight. It's great. Ramon or Raymond Dima. Meet you at ring six. Терапист только, Руслан. Броски не считаются, так что работай нормально, кайф, работай спокойно. Все, нож. Ray Rosado to ring six. Ray Rosado, ring six. For the men's team, pro belt lightweight mixed winners in ring six. In third place, Ray Rosado. In second place, Derek Holmes. In first place, from the Nolan Rudin, Cedric Bryant. <laughs> Оп, 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 оп. Русик, 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 ты ногу забрал. Забрал ногу. Есть! Есть! Аккуратно, поймал. Thank you, brother. Thank you for competing. Thanks a lot. You like it? That was easy. That's a good old workout, man. Хотя второй пояс же не дали все. Да, я сейчас бороться. Да, 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 We just basically we're done. We finished with the Naga competition right now. So we got our friend Andre, the big guy, the super heavyweight. Uh, he just got the second place, first time competing. Never had experience of you know like really working on the ground. He wasn't like training with us for like probably a little more than a month ago. He just started. So there's another good friend of ours, a member of the family, Ruslan Hashkano, just came over. Okay, this guy, he just basically he just won the belt as you can see. Я не знаю, что это такое. 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 Я не зн
a lot of, you know, pretty satisfying. Belts, medals, was pretty good. Okay, we just finished the соревнования in Naga. It was the world по грэплингу. Boyets of Russia, Ruslan Khaskanov debutted, you can say, the first time he was in grappling and he won, as you see, the first place. So, he was very proud of us. All the necessary wins, all the necessary wins. Andrei, also Boyets M1. He's a very good guy, he's also trained with us not so long, a little bit more than a month. He won the second place, despite the fact that he wasn't ready. So, in general, the competition was our day. Everyone was happy, everyone was happy, everyone was happy, everyone was happy. We came to eat. Спасибо большое, всем привет. Это наша поддержка. Good enough.